What's going on, young world? This is D Dubs. This is Tires on Tarmac. I'm out here in Carmax, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Once again, it's been a while. Welcome back to the vlog. If it's your first time on my vlog, hit the subscribe button, hit hit the bell, and um, definitely, man, rock with me and grow and um, go on this journey with me. Um, so, with further ado, I'm sitting in here. As you can see the badge in the back and the Camaro ZL1. It's the automatically when you're getting this thing, it's super sporty. You know, I mean this is the ZL1. So this is the one that's is is right up by the 500 horses uh stock, uh, rear wheel drive, torqued out at like four something in the back for torque. Um yeah, let me check it out. Check you check so y'all can check this on out, check it on out. Right here, you got the stitching on the steering wheel. You have the red stitching over here on the steering wheel. Um, you have your gauges down here, which I really like the gauges. Down here, you can see the gauges. You got your oil pressure, um, voltage for your battery. Um, you have your boost gauge. I really like the boost gauge down here. See over here, see the boost gauge. Um, you have a small relatively screen. Um, I know some guys don't mind this, but I wish the screen was more bigger. They could have moved it up to the vents here. I do like how they wrap the stitching around. You got the Z01 badge. Dash is nice. Steering wheel is adjustable. They have a nice, uh, they wrap the um, shifter in the uh, red stitching as well. Parking brake. Red stitching on the seats. Z01 badge. Yeah, man, this is nice, man. You have your uh, memory. Uh, you can have the dark your phone right here. You can also answer the phone through here. This thing automatically darkens up on the ZL1. Here's a here's a look at the right there. At your mirrors. Doesn't have the lights. I wish I had the lights right there. So your um, yeah, man, this is pretty much straightforward, man. I mean, the airbag is positioned pretty good. Got the ZL1 badge right here on your steering wheel. Like I say, I like the way it's wrapped. They have the guy, the old school gauges from the 60s and, and uh, early 70s model, so they kept it true to the to the to the badge. Uh, you have your auto for your lights and whatnot. Um, you see here, key ignition right here. So this is not really the newest one, but this is one of the newer ones. You have your sound system, premium auto. Walk around, check out the door. Immediately right here, you see you have, you have this gloss plastic, which is nice, nice effect. The stitching on the door. You have the unlock for your. Um, I don't have the key to it, but you have the unlock for your uh, for your trunk. Door handles, chrome. It's really nice. You got a tweeter right here. This is a nice little effect. I don't know, man. You know, I like it, man. I like it. I mean, I think that the wheels are basic, though. I don't really like the wheels, you know what I mean? But, you know, that's just me. I got to have something that's really dope, you know what I mean? But we go going here to adjust y'all real quick. Y'all hear me real good? I hope y'all can. But, yo, we're going to check out the outside. So you immediately right here, you have what they could have put air vents here to cool off the, the, the big brakes, but... I don't know why they didn't do that. They got the ZL1 brake package right here. ZL1 um, wheels uh, wrapped in the Eagle F1s. This should have made these functional. That's stupid to make the body style like this and not make these functional for cooling the air brakes. This is dumb. That's not smart at all. But I definitely like the lines. Right here, you can see the lines. I like the octagon-like shape of the of the uh, rear view mirror. That's dope. Yeah, but when you stand back of it, man, it's pretty dope whip, man. You know, it's a pretty dope whip. Got the ZL1 badge right here. Dope. These are functional heat extractors for the engine because of that power, that power, that powerful V8, supercharged V8. You know what I mean? So those are functional. See them right there. Put them right here for y'all to see. Oh. Y'all see that? And so here we go right here. Also, right here you can see the lower of the fixture. See? 
that's functional everything's functional to cool off that massive v8 you got the fog lights leds i like the lines you know i like my lines so so i like the lines on here if y'all can see the lines you know staying true to chevy power i like how they hit the lines right here it kind of dips out and it deepens into towards the rear you know you got your rear spoiler here air down force keep it planted at high speeds you know you're talking about you talking about this thing is almost 500 horses stock bone stock so let alone if you go ahead and supercharge it with a specialty you know and there's the back of it man that's pretty what it is man it's, i mean i like it you know by the way i'm talking like that because i'm actually in carmax there's so many people are actually buying cars so i don't want to take you know me, I got mad shine. I don't want to take people shines and doing their little business deals, but as long as y'all can hear me, we're going to go ahead and look at some more cars. Over here, we got the Bi Turbo AMG. I really like this. This joint is dope. Yeah. This the Bi Turbo. So we got it's an 015 Mercedes Benz GLA 45 AMG for the 38998. It's Carmax Kenosha, man. You know what I'm saying? Rock with them. They've been really, you know, laid back about letting me do my reviews here. So Carmax Kenosha, Wisconsin, man. Check them out. And as you see, they mainly deal with Toyotas, but they also got other joints here. Or they can just have something shipped here personally. If you don't like Toyota, you can have your own personal joint shipped here, whatever you like. So let's check it out. So yeah, man, so I'm in here right now in this GLA. I'm trying to figure it out how to get this thing set back, but I can't because the seat is set without the key. But I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what it is though. You see right here, it's lit up. Dash is attractive. You got the paddle shifters right here. You got the screen, OBC, not the OBC screen, but the actual um, screen to the vehicle. Look at the shifter, dope. Your reverse neutral, your drive, your parking your parking button to park it. They even got a, which is something you don't see nowadays. People who smoke, they don't usually have ashtray. This one has an ashtray in it, which is very rare. You have your on off, your radio button all in here. You have your um, carbon fiber. See, you have your carbon fiber here. Over here, you have your lighting and all that for the back. Yeah, see, you got your visors. This one actually comes to light. You know how bands do. They always gonna have the lights with they join. I don't know why Camaro didn't do that. Got your memory seats, see over here? Got your memory seats over here. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Memory seats, dude, that's dope. I like the air vents too. These are dope. Swivel and they turn, very nice. Red stitching. I gotta say, I'm gonna show y'all a better position for me getting in there, you know, with my big ass, you know, I drive trucks. I ain't got fat a little bit for driving trucks, but yo, check this out. Red stitching, look at that. Look at that, I like where the head be at. I like the way they did this in here, a little sporty look, a little Recaro seat look. It's got the Recaro look, you know what I mean? It's real nice. Let's check out the back. Boom, got the recall seats in the back. We're gonna sit in the back. So, so, I'm in here. I'm in here, you know what I'm saying? Boom, boom. So, I mean, I got my little, I got that alligator on today, you know? But it's it's pretty decent, you know? I'm six even, so, you know? Some days I'm 5'11", sometimes six feet, depending what shoes I got on. And I put the alligator back on, you know? There's still enough room. And right here, as you see, you got the double, the double sunroof, see? Up front, and you got the one in the back. There you go, so y'all can really get a good look at that. But yeah, man, it's nice, man. Red, red seat belts. Red seat belts. You know? Real nice. It's not as practical, I would think, for it be a four-person four vehicle, but you could pull it off. But I would suggest just stay a two-seater if you bought something like this. This is definitely Ben's 
doing their Fast and Furious thing. You know, man. This is for 38. They charging 38 for it. 40,000 miles. Four cylinder 2.0 engine. But it's turbo though. So it's right. It's got the Harman Kardon sound system. So it bang. You know what I'm saying? Check out the AMGs on there. Boom. AMGs is wet. So. All right. Next, we're going to check out this right here. It's not the G80. But this is the uh, the older Genesis before they made the G80, which is the new shit that's popping out there. Nah, this is the Hyundai Genesis when they still called the sedan the Hyundai Genesis. You see the badge right there. And there's the front. And I'm running through these cars kind of fast because there's a bunch of them I want to show y'all. But just to show y'all. Oh, real quick. Check out the bands back. This that GLA. We're going to take come back to the uh, Hyundai. Check this out, GLA. Yeah, see? I like that. Rear diffuser. Boom, chrome. Chrome right here. So, yeah, I like the lines on that, too. Let me see the lines. See the lines on there? I like that. That's the GLA. That's the top of that movement. Here's the wing. They did the wing back here with the brake light all the way across, which is nice. But no, we're gonna go ahead and go back to the Genesis though. So this is the this is the Genesis. Go on in here and check it out now. Nice. Immediately we see the nice Carmen uh, system in there. Uh, so this is not a Carmen Carmen. So I'm, my bad, it's a Lexicon. They usually use Lexicon. I keep saying Harman Carmen because I like Harman Carmen more. Lexicon system, I, I believe they come standard for all Hyundai Genesis sedans. And then uh, the way they got the tweeters is nice, man. Got the wood grain, you got the leather. Real nice. Genesis on the running boards, Genesis here. And I believe these light up when the car is actually on. We're going to go ahead and go back in here. We're going to check out the, uh, the dash. So the, right here, the dash has the wood grain. And when you turn this thing on, here's the uh, control center for everything. Um, definitely Genesis always come with the analog clock. You have your push button start right here. You know, so the key is not here, so we're not going to be able to turn it on. But it's definitely uh, the model with the push button start. Visors, I think, believe we have a light. Yep, we have the lighting, which is nice. We have the mirror with the emergency button for any roadside problems. Phone, we can dim the actual mirror. It can actually dim. Um, this is different settings for lighting and all that right there. You have this for your sunglasses and all like that. You have this for your actual roof. So this is your control center for your roof and all that and the lighting in there. Nice dash, I like it. Um, I mean, I mean, this is basically, this is basically, <clears throat> excuse me, this is basically if you a guy who likes luxury and luxury is what you want as you see you have the two yeah i know that's that's dope right just looking above me you can see that look at that that, that is dope you know and um i like the double moon roof joint so right here you have your shifter this right here controls the actual um if you want to control anything from here this is also touch screen this is also touch screen but if you want to control it move my coat Right here, you can control it right here. It's like a mouser pad. Right here, you have the cup holders. You just push that back. Your 12 volts right there. Storage space. Push it in, it'll come back smooth. Kind of like how bands do it. Shifter. Your uh, park, reverse, neutral. Um, and then your D. Your plus and minus is when you come over here. And those are for your low gears for snow. If, you, if you're in a slippery situation for snow, snow and whatnot. So you have your plus and minus. You have your different drive modes here. So it definitely has sport mode, sport plus. Um, and I believe, uh, I don't think it has a track mode, but uh, don't quote me. If y'all, if y'all if this model has a track mode, just leave a comment. And um, definitely, you know, I take collective criticism, man. If it definitely is a track mode, let me know. But uh, yeah, man, this is basically it, man. This is just the Genesis, man. It's a nice, it's nice, you know. It's a nice wrap steering wheel. You can access your phone from here. So let's go around to the other side and I can show you that. So the door shut nice. I like the way the door shut nice. So just the lines right here. I like the lines. See right there. Nice lines. Right there the lines. 
you know, you gotta have them lines. Keyless entry, so you just push this button to open it up, and it opens up. If you wanna lock it, you hit the other button. Uh, mirrors, got the turn signal, mirrors and whatnot. Yeah, man, it's a nice whip, man. I mean, it's just for luxury. I wouldn't buy it myself because I like sportiness, you know what I'm saying? But if I was to go luxury, I had to have an element of sportiness with it. This is strictly just for like straight, you know, luxury. But it does run. You got your traditional Genesis grill, you know, lower diffuser. Mm. These are not functional. Well, they look they look good for cosmetics, and they wrapped it in a chrome wrap there. There's a Genesis traditional wheels. I'm not sure what brake system this is. If y'all know what brake system that is, the Koreans put on here. Let me know what the Koreans put on here as far as brakes. You know what I mean? As far as brakes. As far as these brakes right here, the calipers. I like this right here. So you know the Koreans, man, they know cars. You know, Genesis always been rocking hard. So yeah, you get in here, it's a nice feel. Definitely um, a nice feel for somebody of uh, uh, larger dimensions, you know what I'm saying? Um, you got your turn signal, so like I said, you got your horn. Steering wheels feels nice. Cruise control, cancel button, reset to set cruise control. You have your different menus button to, set, to go through the OBC and through here. Um, this right here toggles through the system, just like you can do right here on the mouser pad. Your volume control up and down for uh, different modes through the actual screen here. Um, this mode is for sport mode and all that good stuff. This is the phone. And yeah, Sirius XM, man, and the horn. So they, it's just self-explanatory stuff y'all already know about this vehicle. If you don't know, that's basically how the basic setup is for uh, most of the Genesis sedans, you know. Um, but then you got the new G80, which is a whole new joint, which is what they rocking now. So the paddle shifters. This, this model has the paddle shifters right here, and they're attached to the steering column, which is nice. Nice feel. They have like a grip. If you can see right there, they have like a grip. But anyway, um, yeah, man, it's a nice whip, man. I mean, I hope y'all like this, man. It's just Hyundai Genesis G80. Check out the back. Check out the back, man. My, matter of fact, man, I'm up here because I got to get my car serviced. I got the Nissan, the transmission acting up. And all y'all know about that CVT transmission, man, it's trash. So I'm up here, and regardless of what happened, I got to pay 200 and something dollars if they find out what's going on. Now, if they find out what's going on with my Nissan, then they're going to go ahead and fix it, and then I pay the extra 250 when it's fixed. So I go and do transmission. But I still got to pay 200 and something dollars just to come up here for a couple hours for me to check it out it's because it's been acting up. So basically, I'm going to talk to y'all again on another vlog. If it, they can't find it and I'm out of 200 and something dollars and they can't find it because it's been acting up periodically. It's been acting up on its own, not consistently, right? And you guys know under the program that you get for these cars, if it acts consistently, then you know and I know they'll catch it and then your program that you pay for a uh, catch it right but if they don't catch it i'm out of 200 some dollars so i'm gonna get rid of it you know what i'm saying i'm gonna go ahead and trade it in probably go get some you know srt out i'm gonna probably go back to mopar you know what i'm saying but i'm gonna keep y'all another vlog about that let y'all know what it is so further ado man we're gonna keep on going check it out this is the genesis back end right here Genesis Bass 3.8 liter. I like the chrome around there. You know, it's nice, man. Lower diffuser. Boom. Nice lines. It's real nice. Real nice, you know. I like the way they cut the mirror. You got the antenna, shark fin, as we call it, the shark fin. Yeah, man, they got some nice whips up here, man. Real nice. I'm going over here, man. Check out this Jag. This is the Jag SF. This is the SF. 3-point leader all-wheel drive, so it's got the all-wheel drive system like the, uh, basically like uh, what uh, Dodge did with the uh, RT, or, you know, basically like uh, Audi. Audi got the Quattro system, you know what I'm saying? BMW got the X-Drive system. So Jag got the AWD, the all-wheel drive system, like the RTs, you know what I'm saying, the Chargers. So uh, I don't know which is more effective or not. 
because, you know, I do know that the Chargers for a fact, I've driven many of them, they're pretty effective, but the Jags, I'm not sure, as I never dri I've never driven an XF though. But I know a couple of homies from back in the old neighborhood that got a couple of these sitting on some big wheels though. So yeah, man, this is the uh, 2014 Jaguar XF 3.0 supercharged, six cylinder, 3.0. You know, probably, like, I don't know, like 300 some horses out of here. Let me see if we can get that. 20 inch, it's got the 20 inch, 332. So 332 horses out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not slow. It's not, a, it's not a win. You got the Jaguar wheels on here with the Jaguar additions wrapped in Continentals. What's some Continentals? Extreme Contact DWSs, sports. Yep, wrapped in Continentals. The door is heavy, so as soon as I open up the door, I can tell it's real nice and heavy. Real nice feel to it. And it has the memory, keyless entry right here. Hit the button lock, hit the button unlock. You know, my Nissan got all that shit, so I ain't worried about it. And I got my shit tricked out, so I got one of the hottest Nissans in Illinois and Wisconsin area. But anyway, right here you got your buttons and shit, chrome. You got your mariner system. I don't know what the fuck that is. If y'all know what the fuck this is, this is system. If it's up there with Harmon Carmen, leave a comment and let me know because I'm not hip to Meriden. Got the Jaguar plates. I'm not sure if this light up, it might. Get on this side, you got the Jaguar badge on the steering wheel. It's different, you know, paddle shifters on the back. Back here, you got the paddle shifters. Real nice. So, say 190 on the dash, though. So, I don't know. Got your lighting. For This is for your moon roof and all that. I'm not sure what this is. Like I say, I'm not too much familiar with the Jaguar at all. So, you know, I'm always transparent with y'all. I ain't gonna never sit there and say I know something and I don't. I'm always gonna be honest. Especially on my channel. I ain't gonna sit there and act like I be knowing everything. Right here, you got the roof, but that's why y'all rock with me. You know what I'm saying, young world? Cause y'all like that. Y'all like that realness. Y'all don't be liking that fake shit. That's why y'all young world. But yo, check it out. Back to the vlog. We got the start, start. I like that. You got the stop, start right here. That's sporty. You got your access. Here's your screen, which is like stupid small. What you got here? I don't even know what this is. Oh, that's the vents. That's sharp. So you can hide the vents on here. So you do like that. And you can actually hide the vents. That's tight. Got your reverse and all that. So you got your. So you can just button push that. I think you button push that. Or you just. Oh, it comes up. I think this comes up. This pops up. I'm not sure. But I think the shifter pops up right here. And here's your parking brake. Just pull that to park. It's nice, smooth cup holders. Yeah, man, it's smooth, man. You got your le nice leather seats and stuff. It's nice. There's the back for y'all. I ain't gonna get in the back too much, but it's nice. Speaker right here up front in the dash. The dash look good. You see you got the stitching. I like the color code too. The color code is pretty dope though, but you got the color code right here. Look at that. Memory seats right here. It's the memory seats. These are all your door windows. These are all for your mirrors and stuff. This is the locket. This is your memory seat right there. It's down here where you can put stuff, access stuff. It's pretty dope, man. I ain't gonna lie. I like the color too. The color is like a blueberry color. It's like blueberry and stuff. Let me open up the back for y'all. So immediately right here, you got the wood grain like John. This is that plastic shit, but they make it look like real wood, which is not bad. I mean, you'll never have real wood. It ain't like it's a ray for a ghost. You know, when you go, you get you got money to get a ray for a ghost. You get real wood, you know what I mean? Well, you know, most companies are a little bit higher end. They do the wood like plastic. So that's what they did in Jag. They got the little grip in here. I don't know. It's just a rubber piece they cut out to put in here. You know, to hide the and yeah, they probably charge you like a hundred dollars for that, you know, crazy shit. Look, boom, it's all right. Slap back, 
seat back here, cup holders. It's the XF, man. So if y'all ain't know about the XF, man, there you go. I do like the lines. Let me check out the lines. Check them lines out. I like the way Jag did that. But you know, I'm going to get an X, a X type. You know, that's the sport model, the X type, man. The one that growl. So wait for that, man. I'm going to be working on the X type too, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be working out there with NECA, man, to go get the X type for y'all. The Jaguar, man. Front. Like the way they did that, boom. The lights. Which I like that, huh? I mean, it's more of a sporty fair. It's, it's, it's straight. You know, but it ain't it ain't a sports car, you know? It's sports light. So don't think you can get this and sit there and take it to the track. You're gonna get your ass embarrassed if you take this shit to the track. You're gonna get embarrassed. But if you wanna stunt, you can bring that up somewhere where they like to stunt though. We're gonna go over here to the Silverado. Silverado joint. Nice. They already got the bed. I'm not sure if this is Rhino. No, they got the bed liner though, but this ain't the Rhino. Off-road, it's the Z71. I like the way they did that. Big bed. Big moose and big moose and caribou. Carcasses. Chevy got the chrome hub coming on here. The chrome package. You know what I'm saying? Chrome. Chrome package, so you got the chrome liners on here on the doors, and then you have the chrome handles, and then you have the chrome hubs over there. So that's what they consider the chrome package. Actually, they charge more for that, too. So immediately you get in, you know, Silverado, man. Y'all already know. It's a lot of y'all already got trucks and stuff, so y'all already know. Stitching in here. It's dope. It's nice. I like the cup holders and stuff. So, man. so if I was to get in here, let's get on in here. Yeah, so we in here now. So as you see, headroom is good. Legs is good. Got the indentations. It's good, man. Got the sunroof. That's the sunroof. See the sunroof there? Right there. Over here, you got some USB shit to plug shit in. Game consoles. You got some uh, stuff to charge the phone with. It's nice. You got some cup holders down there. Lighting. It's nice. It's a nice whip, man. Check out the back. Check out the front. Chrome grill. Toes got the tow package on there, so I'm not sure what's the towing package for this one, but I'm pretty sure because this is the big move right here. This is the big John. Z this this the Z71. So big Z71 right there. Memory seats, look, got the memory seats. So it's nice, man. As soon as I get in, man, it's it's nice. Big boy stats, nice big screen. Chevy got in there. Ton of space to put stuff in. I mean phone, you know what I'm saying? Whew, crazy. Look at that. All type of charging points. It's all for your climbing. Off-road, towing, man, everything, AC, sink, auto, seats, heating, 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 cool seats. Right here, you got more room. Look at this, look at this. Look at this, move this. Ton of space. Real nice. Yeah, y'all like that? Man. So I hope y'all like this vlog, man. I want to hit y'all up, man. Oh, real quick though, before I even outro, check this out. It's the Yukon XL. It's the Yukon XL, it's got the TV in the back. 
think this is about four or five thousand pounds but then you have the three seat bed on Yukon and as you see here they have the seat already pushed up to uh, take out so you can take these seats out for more room and you can lift them up for more room TV in the back Ugh. TV right there it's real nice so I'm always gonna give you what the best they got. I ain't gonna give you none of their regular shit. I'm gonna give you the best they got. So that's the Yukon XL. They want 52 for it. This the 017 too. So this is a new joint, SLT. Got that plastic wood game, but it's nice. Black stitching, GMC. Boom. Rest. Oh, y'all wanna see that? Pull that down. There you go. Cup holders. You got one seat back there too, three row. So it's doing it. They did like Dodge, you know. Come back here. Immediately you see what's going on. Bowl system in it, so you know bowls be rocking. Hey man, it's 017, man. Denali. There's the dash for you. Real nice truck. Actually, Hennessy uh, told me that he has a couple of the Denali's, two different models. He said, man, they're real nice. Uh, he put a Hennessy package on this Denali. He is Hennessy though, so he can do what he want. But yeah, look at that. So man, let me know if I like this vlog, comment. You know what I'm saying? This your man D-Dubs. If you new to the channel, subscribe. Hit the fucking bell, man. Support the movement, man. Young world, I'm out, man. And uh, next time, man, I'm going to give y'all something even doper, man. And I'm going to fill y'all in and do a vlog also about what's going on with my Nissan, man. The G80. I mean, uh, Genesis in the back. Looking nice with that paint, that burgundy red. So, yeah, I'm going to fill y'all. I'm going to do a vlog just about my Nissan, what's going on with that. And uh, like I did, uh, if you look down my timeline, it ain't that like super far because I just started this channel. But if you look down my timeline, you will see that uh, <clears throat> I'm thinking about trading it in anyway. You know what I'm saying? So the kid might be going American Muscle, you know what I'm saying? And uh, if I go back foreign, it ain't going to be Nissan, you know what I'm saying? It's definitely going to be German engineering. It's definitely going to be German or maybe Italian, you know what I'm saying? I'm not fucking with the Japs no more, Japanese no more. No shout-outs to y'all, but no shout-outs, shots fire, but you know what I'm saying? Y'all got some work to do with y'all with y'all Altima line, you know what I mean? But um, I still like Altima, but not enough to spend the money for it, you know what I mean? Because, you know, this is the second time I had an Altima. I had a generation before that. And a uh, similar situation with the CVT system. But uh, other than that, man, it's a nice whip. I just think y'all need to do some more work. But uh, I'm going to do a vlog on that, y'all. But, um, yeah, man, this is man D-Dubs, man. Hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the like button. Um, <clears throat> and definitely hit the notification bell. If you like what I put out there today on this vlog, just a quick vlog while I'm up here waiting for my car to get checked out and see what's going on with the CVT system. And uh, shout out to Carmex Kenosha. They ain't paying me for this shit, but I'm gonna shout them out because I get to do what I want and do my vlogs up here. So I'm gonna shout out Carmex Kenosha for that, for being cool like that. So, but um, definitely get back at me, man. Leave the comment section if you like it, man. Um, and yeah, man, just rock with the kid, man. I'm out, stay sucker free, man.